Hi all, I just wanted to do a quick video to review the animations that we have done to date with our character animation. Um, let me show them to you and let me just uh, go through this state machine and then I will put a link to where you can down, download a package and import it into a new project so that you have exactly the same as I have. Um, okay, we have our character. Uh, a, uh, our character is called Adventurer. We have imported it from our assets from the Adventurer uh, sprite sheet. I renamed this, by the way. Um, it used to be called Adventurer underscore sprite sheet underscore version 0 0.1 or something like that. I renamed it to Adventurer, and um, when I did, I changed this back to single. I applied it, uh, and then I changed it back to multiple. And then when I went into the sprite editor and when I sliced it, um, the names of each sprite now became the, my new name, adventure underscore one, adventure underscore two, adventure underscore three. It just, prior to this, I used to have a really long name. It used to be adventure underscore sprite sheet underscore version 1.1 or something something along those lines. So I renamed the sprite sheet just to Adventure. Now I can easily see the different sprites, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, okay. So here is my character, and this is what we've working to date. There's my idle animation. Um, I have them running at 12 samples per second. I thought I initially had it at 24. I think 12 is is a bit better. Um, it's my idle. I have my damage running at 12 as well. There you go. I have my debt. Uh, there you go. I have my jump running at six actually. Um, I slowed it down so I can really see it. It's running at six frames per second. And I have my run also running at 12 frames per se uh, second. So slowed it down from 24. Um, so this is, we had this uh, working in class. Let me just look at the animator itself. Um, these are all of the states. Um, so there's the idle animation. I, and I've created these uh, parameters. Uh, we've got speed, which is a float, ground is a boolean, damage is a trigger, vet is a trigger, and jump is a trigger. Uh, here's the idle animation. We transition from idle to run when the speed is greater than 0 0.1 and when ground is false, that should be. When ground is false, yeah. So when you're not on the ground um, and you're running, so sorry, sorry, I beg your pardon, that's thing. I beg your pardon. We will transition from idle to run when you are on the ground and your speed is greater than 0.1. You will transition back to idle when your speed is less than 0.1 and when you are on the ground. You will transition from idle to jump when ground is false, when you're no longer on the ground, and when jump has been triggered. You will transition back to idle when ground is true, you're back on the ground, and your speed is less than 0.1, i.e. you are not running. You will go from run to jump when you are no longer on the ground and jump is triggered, and you will go from jump to run when you are on the ground but your speed is greater than zero, that is, you're not idling. You will go from idle to damage um, simply when damage is triggered, and you'll go from damage to idle when, when you will go from damage to idle when, sorry, speed is less than 0 0.1. So you'll go from idle to damaged, to damage when damage is triggered, and you'll go back to idle when your speed is less than 0.1. So you're not running. You'll go from run to damaged when again when damage is triggered, but you'll go from damage to run when your speed is greater than zero. And finally, you can from any state you can you will go to the death state when death is triggered. All of these transitions have uh, the exit time set to zero, uh, with the possible exception yes, with the exception of jump. All of them have the exit times uh, set to zero with the exception of jump. When you're coming from jump to idle or when you're going from jump to run, I have set the egg I have ticked the exit time. And that's and what I'm saying is um, this animation, my jump animation has to play 
one is the is a hundred percent one stands for a hundred percent if it was 0.5 it would be 50 percent it has to play a hundred percent of the jump um, animation before you can uh, go back to run so it does have an exit time it has to play at least a hundred percent of it um, and the fixed durations of all of them are zero are, are the, sorry the, tra uh, the transition duration the time it takes to transition from one state to the other is zero it's in, it, for all of them it's instantaneous so as I say from jump to run and from jump to idle they both have an exit time and the exit time is set to one you have to play 100% of it all of the others don't which means you can be halfway through idle and then transition straight to jump and that is it that's where we are at um, what I'm going to do is I will put together the frames. I have actually taken, a, I, have, I have a notepad here and I'll put this into the show notes of the video and these are the sprites which correspond to, or the, these are the, yeah, the sprites which corresponds to the different animations. So for example, the idle sprites 0, zero to 12, that's the idle animation, the, the, the sprites 13 to 20 are run, 51 to 56 is jump, 57 to 60 is damage and 61 to 67 is Date. So again, what I mean by that is if you go into the sprite editor, these ones, that's 0 to 12 is run, 13 to 20 is jump, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'll put, I'll, put those, um, I'll put those up on the show notes, and I'll also put a, up on Moodle, I'll put a link to um, a package that you can import into an empty, empty, empty game object, or sorry, into an empty project, and you will have what I have here, look, uh, what I'm looking at here. Now let's demo all of this. So let me press play. Uh, let me just open up this a little bit so we can see it. Um, okay, um, I am on the ground and I'm idling. If my speed was to increase more than 0 0.1, you will see I have gone to the run animation. If it goes back to zero, I idle again. Uh, when in idle, if the damage is triggered, I go up to damage and straight back down. Once it plays, up to damage and back down. Um, if I'm running, so I'm in uh, I go to one, so I'm running, and I take damage, I go to damage state and back. Here we go again, damage and back. If I am running and I do a jump, when I leave the ground, You'll see it jump and then when I'm on the ground it'll stop jumping and I go back to running. If I was idled and I did a jump, I triggered jump, well the minute I leave the ground I went to the jump and when I hit the ground again I will stop jumping. And finally if death is triggered I will die and I will stay dead. And that's it.